past 365 days I have been tracking every day of my life. How much I work, what I work on and how well I have been sleeping. By doing so I have learned a lot about myself and how I function so I wanted to share some of my experiences with you. Because maybe you can learn something new as well. Or maybe you can't, I don't know. But why did I do this to begin with? Dude, what if I just draw like a tiny bit each day and then by 40 I'll be like almost a pro. Oh, sounds cool. How much are you planning on drawing each day? I don't know, maybe like 5 minutes or something? Um, dude, I don't think that's enough. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's totally enough. It's not enough. So that was how I decided that I was gonna draw for one hour a day, 30 days in a row, and also make videos for one hour a day. 30 days later and I had made it, and it gave me a huge confidence boost so I figured that I'd just continue tracking my progress. And that's how this mess of a Google spreadsheet was born. I'll try my best to explain what the hell is going on. The document itself. It's very basic, here's the days, here's the date, here's the amount of days since I started, this row is for drawing, these two are for video creation, and this one is for miscellaneous. Also, these two last ones are an indicator of my sleep rhythm. The spreadsheet starts on the bottom and goes upwards, not downwards. You see, I started with day one and went downwards, but eventually it started taking a long time to scroll down every time I had to write something new in, so I went the opposite way instead. So boom, here's the colors. I was gonna do like this quick read-through of it with like epic stuff, but then I figured colors are a pretty intuitive thing, you know? You, most of us knows that green means good and red means bad. How I track my productivity. I usually set a timer for 35 minutes, then I sit down and do the work and when I'm finished I write down 30 minutes into my spreadsheet. I've tried working in hour long sessions without breaks, but that usually almost without fail ends up giving me a headache, and work also tends to be a lot less efficient after 30 minutes. So that's why I find it better to split it up with a 5 minute break in between, where I take a step back from the computer and move a little bit around to get some blood running. If I work for a total of an hour I make the color for bar green, if I only manage to work for 45 minutes I make it yellow and if it's half an hour I make it orange. Oh, and even though our row might be for drawing and it's green, that doesn't actually mean that I've been drawing, it just means that I've been working for an hour. So it kind of works like this. The time automatically gets added up in this corner, where it shows the total amount of hours I've worked for that particular week. So that's pretty much the document, yeah? But what have I actually learned in all this time? Take a look at this week, 2 hours of work done. That's what happens when I rely on motivation. Now take a look at this week, 24 hours of work done. So in this one week I've been doing the same amount of work that would have taken me nearly 3 months if I were to continue working with this pace. That means, for the time span of a year, this would give me 52 videos a year, while this one would give me 5. So don't ever rely on motivation, because it barely even exists and you need the skills to use it properly when it actually arrives. There's a lot of other factors which are important to achieve a lot of progress as well, but learning how to push oneself is perhaps one of the more essential ones. However, I also learned that breaks are extremely important. Remember how I said I managed to do 30 days in a row? That was a lie. I got to day 28 before I experienced a pretty heavy anxiety attack, where it, you know, felt like everything was just kind of falling apart. The reason for why that happened was quite obvious, though I didn't really see it at the time. You see, the issue was I wasn't taking any breaks. Even though I only worked for 2 hours a day, the only thing I was focused on was the work. I didn't take any mental breaks from it, I didn't socialize much with people, I didn't take care of my stress. So in short, all of my mental energy stayed on the work, and that's why I broke down even though it was only 2 hours a day. So a week later I made the first version of my spreadsheet document and I started again. It rolled fine for a little while until yet again I crashed and I failed, because I was still trying to avoid breaks. You see, I didn't want any breaks because I wanted to be productive, and I was afraid that taking breaks would stop my momentum. However, as you can quite clearly see, not taking breaks will just lead to accidental breaks anyways because I crash. So not only do I take a break, I also feel horrible while doing so. So to stop this mess I decided that I was gonna start adding in intentional breaks. Every Saturday and Sunday I was not gonna be working, and I started noticing something very cool. Breaks can make you productive, and also happy. Taking intentional breaks did not reduce the amount of hours I was able to put in, it was actually quite the opposite. You see, I became slightly more productive, while at the same time I also felt somewhat happier. There is a difference in breaks though, because some of the breaks weren't as effective as others. When I took breaks where I was staying inside and playing games, that certainly gave me a break, but it wasn't something I could look forward to. It didn't really break me out of my bubble, and because of that, it doesn't really help me much. However, some of the best breaks I've had are those I've spent with friends, and those I've spent socializing with people. You see, I have realized yet another thing during this period. I am not as introverted as I thought I was. Like, for the longest time I thought I was just extremely introverted. But that's simply not true. I really enjoy spending time with people, and it gives me energy in the right situations. I just have social anxiety, and I'm afraid of people. So therefore, my brain tricks me into thinking that loneliness appears to me to be what I want. But that's really not what I want, because I want to talk with people and I want to spend time with my friends. And this spreadsheet has really shown me how much I actually need friends. Because when I can look forward to a weekend that I'll be spending with friends or socialize with people, it's so much more enjoyable and easy to work in the rest of the week. Because taking 
Taking these types of breaks feels rewarding. They let me break out of my bubble and enjoy stuff that's not just about working. And they also make me feel a lot more emotionally stable and life feels a lot better in general. Now I still need a lot of time for myself to be happy, and a good amount of alone time is something I find extremely important as well. However, there's a big difference in having a couple of days for myself versus having weeks upon weeks where I don't even know if I'll even end up having a meaningful interaction with someone. So let me show you how stuff goes when that happens. Being alone sucks. Back in August I moved into college, and that's been fun, but uh, I have a really hard time finding friends, because I'm a special snowflake. So for a month or so, there weren't really anyone I felt comfortable with reaching out to, not even online. So I stayed very much alone in my room by myself trying to figure out what to do. And that was depressing. I didn't have any reason to do anything. Just getting up in the morning was, you know, close to impossible. And that makes it difficult to work, because... Why am I doing this when I'm lonely, sad and stressed? What's the point, you know? I still tried my best to be productive, like there were close to none of these hours that I actually wanted to do. But as you can see... There weren't a lot of them, and it's just so much more difficult to get them done than what it should be. So I guess what I'm saying here is that if I want to be able to do a lot of stuff, I need to remember to feed my social side and I need to find stuff to look forward to. Like the difference a few friends can make is just really insane. It improves my work and just my general well-being so much. So yeah. Uh, it, it might be a good idea to seek that out. Now there's one last experience that I want to mention. Sleep. Sleep is important. This might sound a bit off coming from a person who has literally no control over his sleep rhythm. But it is. In all of these 365 days I've only had one week where I actually slept on a good schedule. And I just wanna say, in that week everything was just kinda easier, you know? Starting to work was easier, feeling good was easier, pretty much everything was just kinda slightly easier. Sure, some stuff was still hard to get through, but having enough rest makes everything better. And that's not because my problems are going away, they are still very much there, but my mind is in a better state to handle the problems. So why haven't I been sleeping more since I know this? <clears throat> but yeah, that was all of my experiences from doing this, or most of them at least. In the near future I will be making some video about insomnia and tinnitus, so if you wanna see that, there's this shiny red button that you can press. But thank you very much for watching, and if you liked the video, feel free to click like and share it and stuff. Since we're all the way here at the end, I would like to give a big thanks to Luxus Target for having drawn my character, and also a big big thanks to the names on the screen for having made the background music. I don't actually know who you are yet, because by the time of making this audio recording, I don't know what I'll end up using, but thank you, wherever you are. I would also like to give a big thanks to all of our patrons for supporting our channel, because you know, you make it easier for us to do this kind of stuff. So thank you. Again, that was all. Thank you so very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day, you lovely creature. Bye-bye.